Good morning, guys. It's a rough one. Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome. And in today's video, I'll be showing you all around this brand new Denison Curtain Cider trailer. We'll also be having a look at a semi-electric pallet truck and I'll be giving you an update on Rory Lynch Transport's brand new S580, just to see how that's getting on. But yeah, let's get on with it. The brand new Denison trailer. So we're gonna start from the inside and work our way outside on the Denison trailer. So straight away, the floor. Now this is the most important thing on a trailer, the floor. Now this one wouldn't be to my liking. I mean, there is no steel beams going through that floor, which there should have been, but Anyway, it all depends on what you specify your trailer and this one wasn't specified with the steel beams going through the floor which are 400 euro plus VAT to have fitted and they really do prolong the life of the floor but this floor doesn't have them so there's not going to be so much of a long life on it before the first forklift goes bang down through it. Anyway, moving on from the floor, uh, we just have one sliding pole on each side, I would have preferred two because if ever anything happens one, at least you have a backup. So yeah, just one pole on each side. I think those poles are around 200 euro plus VAT uh, for an extra pole. And we have the hanging down straps there, 13 straps on each side. They also came with the trailer. And the clearance there from the top rail to the floor is nine foot four inches. And the trailer itself is 4.4 meters based on a 1250 millimeter fifth wheel. So um, I'm not really happy with these holes either. You see these holes? They're supposed to be for the straps, for putting in your straps, but they're so small. I mean, even trying to get your straps in is a struggle. <laughs> not to mind getting your straps out. But um, yeah, not really happy with those holes for pulling in, um, tidying in the straps. Uh, because you really need to get these straps out of the way when forklifts are loading your trailer because forklift drivers will just roll over your straps and then bend them and damage them. So um, it, it, it would have been even nice to have maybe a hook here or some way of tying the strap in just to keep them out of the way while the truck is being loaded. But yeah, I can't see any drivers putting them into those holes up there. So they should have been made bigger. Uh, this is just my opinion. Um, so that's all I can give you with these videos, guys. So there is your post parking area. And let me just demonstrate this again. Very easy to open these and slide them anywhere you want. That's what I always like about these poles. They can be closed anywhere on the trailer. So that's pretty good. And there we just have our shunt button and our parking brake. And over there all your specification plate and it is a tri-axle trailer the front axle does not lift either does the back one they are permanently down on the ground and one other thing about these trailers as well i really don't like these lenses these lenses uh steer clear of them guys if you can uh, we have these lenses on skelly trailers okay and what happens is with all the bouncing on the skelly trailer when you get your container off the inside of the lens loosens and it ends up pulling out these bulbs and then your bulbs stop working so yeah steer well clear of those lenses and maybe get the round ones the leds there's leds here they seem to be fine and um, continue working all the time but these filament bulbs they just get loose with the white inner part getting loose and pulling them out so uh yeah that's i wouldn't really like those lenses but we do have a handy pull out step there on the curtain cider trailer. So yeah, everything else is pretty much standard on this trailer. Uh, the straps are pretty good as well. They're not those uh, awful plastic ones, which I hate, but uh, yeah, these are okay. And we have the pull out system here. I love this for holding in the back door. Always like that. Would have been nice to have maybe a bit of a chain as a bit of a backup as well, just for high winds. But uh, yeah, the triaxle. let's just crawl in here and just give you a look underneath uh, the, all the airbags. So uh, yeah, if, if ever you do burst an airbag, it's very easy to just to um, just to cable tie these hoses here uh, just to get yourself back on the road. 
but uh, yeah, pretty good to be able to see underneath and that floor. So yeah, how long do you reckon guys before the first forklift goes down through this floor? Oh lads, anyway. Yeah, so the poles are very easy to operate on the curtain slider. Let me just show you. I have it open there now. So to close it, we just tighten that back in, pull the ratchet. We also have a grease nipple here as well. And you just tidy it in there, clip it in. Just make sure that's tightened in properly. But yeah, that's it. You just, to open it up, you just pull that open and there you go, it's open. So let's have a look at the front one. And our Susie layout there on the front of the trailer. And the ratchet here on the front is more or less the same system as the back. So yeah, pretty easy enough. It's open there at the moment. So let's just tighten it up. There we go. And just clip that back up and get it in behind there. So you gotta be careful sometimes. Sometimes uh, some drivers forget. Let me just see. Can I get this back open for you guys? Uh, yeah, sometimes you gotta be careful that this is fully tucked in, okay? Because when you're swinging around doing maneuvers, your Susie might get caught on this and pull your Susie. Yeah, uh, been there, done that. So <laughs> there you go, guys. Keep it tucked in, out of the way. So yeah, that is more or less how the Denison Curtain Cider looks. I think it's time to hop in the back and give you a look at the semi-electric pallet truck. So something I've never really spoken about in a video before are pallet trucks. So I'm going to show you the differences between these three. Now this is the semi-electric one. Now these pallet trucks are becoming more and more popular with drivers. I'm seeing more and more drivers using these. And I just want to show you the size difference between the manual one and the semi-electric one. So this one is 22 inches wide. This one is 21 inches wide. But I mean, they're very good for the size of them, look. So that's four inches there. And that's all how much longer it is to the manual pallet truck. And yeah, so this one's 21 inches, this one's 22 inches wide. But one thing I like about the semi-electric one is that it's wider in between the legs. Now the legs themselves are narrower to the manual one, but we have 26 centimeters here and we have 22 centimeters here. So it's very good for getting under some awkward pallets where you might have two lats in between uh, the middle of the pallet. So it just makes it, makes it easier for getting underneath the pallet. Now we have a 45 inch leg on both pallet trucks, but you can see yourself the differences between both pallet trucks. This one takes up little or no more room than that one. So let me just show you how this operates. It's very easy. So this is a safety button. So we'll just turn it on. That is your start button there. Press that in. Now it's, once you press the start button, it turns off automatically. So you never have to worry about turning it off. It'll switch off on its own. So this is the battery level here. It's full at the moment. And this is your horn, okay? And then this is your turtle function here. If you wanna go a bit slower, you have that function. And these are your forward and backward buttons here. And then this red button is just a safety button. So say if you were reversing back and this pallet truck banged up against you, it would jerk itself forward with the safety button. So that's a handy feature. And I also love this as well, look. So say for instance, you have this pallet truck on your truck and you don't want anyone to use it. Um, you can just take that away with you. And now the pallet truck can't be used at all. <laughs> it's not gonna work at all. So you see, completely and utterly turned off. And you can just easily put that back in. Now you do charge it from the three pin plug here and it only takes a few hours to charge. So very handy. And I did use this recently to offload um, a whole container load of drums and it hardly used any power at all. It only went down about two bar. So I was very impressed with that. And it, it did pull reasonably well. Okay, now it only has a lifting capacity of 1.7 ton. That's one thing I don't really like about it. Also, what I don't like about it is, say for instance you did completely run out of power, you can't pull it. You can't actually <laughs> pull it like this. It's like the brake is permanently on. So yeah, you just jack it up normally, just like any other pallet truck. And you just drop it down from the lever there as well. But yeah, very handy pallet truck. I really like this. 
start button and then we just go electrically okay it's in the fast mode there and then we can go even slower just for all those slow maneuvers and it is nice as well to have the double wheel at the front a lot of drivers don't like the double wheel but it just makes it more comfortable on rough surfaces just to have the double wheel this one has the single wheel and yeah just a standard pallet truck these are around 250 euro plus vat so this one has a lifting capacity of two ton and this sil silverstone pallet truck has a lifting capacity of two and a half ton so uh yeah quite a difference between these three pallet trucks and all depends what you want but these are very handy for all those city deliveries now i really like this pallet truck so uh yeah the pros far outweigh the cons and this pallet truck was purchased for just over 1400 euro including vat so yeah there was a bit of a price reduction when we purchased this pallet truck so they may have gone back up in price i'm not too sure but contact hydraulic and pallet truck services up in rathcool in county dublin and they will put you right on the price but yeah i just thought i'd give you a quick look around those few pallet trucks just to show you the differences but uh yeah i do recommend these semi-electric pallet truck check them out okay so you now join me at dps communications in ennis now some of you will remember the rory lynch transport scania i've already shown you around this truck it's an s580 brand new so this truck is leaving dps now and it's heading out to jamie king's to get some spray work done so uh, yeah, let me just quickly show you what's being done out at Jamie King's. Yes, yeah, so Jamie is inside the truck. He's getting ready to set off. We're keeping our distance. Don't worry. We're keeping two meters apart, minimum. And yeah, he's, uh, he's gonna take it out to his premises about six miles from here. And he's gonna spray all of this blue, all around here, all blue. And what he's also going to do is, you see the blind spot mirror there? he's going to match it in with the ebony black. So the ebony black there will also be put on the blind spot mirror and also on the frame of the spotlight up on the roof. So they will also be painted in ebony black. And I'm also gonna get him to put a Rory Lynch sticker on the back of the cab as well. So yeah, I'll just show you the back shortly. Hey, he's just flashing the lights there. Very nice, very nice. Full LEDs, of course on the S580. Let me just uh, walk you around the back. We have the aluminium wheels, of course. Super singles on the front. V8 engine. And 3,000 newton meters of torque. So yeah, I'm gonna get Jamie to put uh, Rory Lynch and then transport there on the back. So yeah, it should be looking very well when it's done. Then this truck will be making its way back down to T. Nolan and Sons down in Castle Island to have more work done. It'll be all good when it's finished. So yeah, I'm gonna get Jamie to uh, get set now and head off back to his premises. So that is the update on the brand new Scania S580 for Rory Lynch Transport. Some of you were asking me, where is the truck? How come it's not on the road yet? Well, now you know, it's out at Jamie King's, getting more paintwork done before then going back down to T. Nolan and Sons in Castle Island to get more work done. Then it will be hitting the road. But uh, yeah, we shot that piece last night at half past 10, about an hour and a half before the government shut down, lockdown of Ireland. But uh, yeah, it was all a bit rushed. Um, I was supposed to shoot that piece today on Saturday, so this video didn't really go according to plan. But anyway, the government giving us four hours notice on a Friday night that they're shutting down the country at midnight. Not really a good idea when you announce that at 8 p.m. on a Friday. Anyway, so that is the way things went. And yeah, I slept in the truck last night as well here at the yard. So now I need to head home via the shop. That is my essential trip, okay? But uh, yeah, so just a video today, guys, on the Denison trailer, brand new, and the new semi-electric pallet truck as well. I do hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was somewhat informative. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to see a review on this truck that's underneath this trailer, please do check out this link up here. 
this is the truck I drive every day. There's 607,000 kilometers up in it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave you there, guys. I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video. Haven't got a clue what it's gonna be yet, but I'll think of something. Okay, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Cheers! New semi-electric. All around these... Uh... <laughs> Oh, lads. We'll also be showing you this sample.